in the diagram, triangle ABG is drawn, okay, obviously. D and E are the midpoints. So D and E are the midpoints. Okay, so we've got all that. Okay, so it says for the for one mark, give a reason why DE is parallel to BH. DE is parallel to BH. Well, that would be the midpoint theorem from grade 10. Remember in grade 10, we learned about if you have a triangle with, this part here being a midpoint, and this side also being a midpoint, then automatically these were parallel. So you're literally just going to say here, midpoint theorem. This one for six marks. Lovely. Oh, and another thing with the midpoint theorem, I'm not sure if we're going to have to use it, but remember that it also means that this is half of this length. So this this length here is double the length of that one. I'm not sure if we'll need that. If it is further given that FC over BF, so FC over BF is 1 over 4, so what we'll do, this, so I'm going to use 4Y and 1Y. I'm not going to use X because they've already got X over here. They then tell us that DE is 3x minus 1, and GH is x plus 1. Okay, so we are going to have to use the midpoint theorem property that I spoke about now. And so they say, give okay, calculate giving reason the value of x. Okay, so I'm going to go straight to BG is going to be 2 times the length of DE, and that's just because of midpoint theorem. So BG is then going to be 2 times 3x minus 1, which is going to give us 6x minus 2. 6x minus 2. Then what we're going to do is just do a bit of proportionality theorem, where we could say, for example, BG over GH is the same as BF over FC, and that's just going to be prop theorem. The reason is... GF is parallel to HC. Now we can just go fill in 6x minus 2 over x plus 1 equals to 4y over 1y. Now notice that these y's cancel and so then we just end up with 6x minus 2 over x plus 1 equals to 4 over 1. Then if we cross multiply, so you can multiply this up there and you multiply that up there, you end up with 6x minus 2 equals to 4 bracket x plus 1. And then that will be 6x minus 2 equals to 4x plus 4. Solve, 2x will be 6, therefore x will be 3.